Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kobe, in the mix. She's today, y'all. We got the back-to-back -back defending champs, man. Georgia taking on UT Martin in football week number one. Now, you guys know that Michigan and Georgia, we go a little ways back, man. A couple years ago, Georgia, they just completely obliterated Michigan. They gave us an ass whooping, man. I think the only thing we put up was a field goal, which was three points. So we had 10. We had something, man. I forgot what the final score was. I don't even want to go back and look at it, you know. And I've been talking about Georgia the all last year, the year before that, you know what I'm saying. And, you know, shit just hasn't been working out in Michigan's favor, you know what I'm saying, which is totally understandable. Um, You know, Georgia, they are in a tougher division. Michigan wearing the easier division. I mean, in their division, they got Kentucky, you got Alabama, you got Auburn, you got Tennessee, you got Texas A&M, you got South Carolina. It's like, it's a lot of really good teams in their division. And, you know, with the Big Ten, the only teams you really have to worry about, you know, since I'm a Michigan fan, of course Michigan, then you also got Ohio State. And possibly, I mean, possibly Michigan State, you know what I'm saying? That's really the only two teams that Michigan has to worry about, man. But more so, Ohio State. That's really our only game where we match ourselves up against a really good team. But, I mean, every other school, man, I mean, that's a dub, for sure, for sure. But it's been over the years, man. Ohio State always had one over us every single year, man. Every single year, but I mean, Michigan just has started beating Ohio State, man. So hopefully, it's a, a every year event where Michigan gets the job done and beats Ohio State, man. But yeah, man, we got the defending champs back to back, not back to back to back, but back to back going against UT Martin. Y'all, I hope you guys enjoy, it, man. And with all that being said, man, let's do what they do and get right into the motherfucking video. Let's get it. Let's go. We in Georgia town, but like I said, man, no. He can't even catch the ball, my guy. That's crazy. Fair catch was called for, that boy is scared for his life. Starter for the first time. Now, this will be a major upset if UT Martin can put away the defending champs, man. That would be crazy in week number one. But, yeah, man, you know, much respect to y'all Georgia fans. I know y'all be talking crazy in my comments, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. But I got a lot of respect for y'all, man. Definitely got a lot of respect for y'all. But y'all don't got the same quarterback no more. I know he's in the NFL now. But that's still, you know what I'm saying? That still doesn't make a difference. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still going to be good. Y'all still going to be that team. I still going to be going crazy. Great job with the extension. Perfect ball placement. But I think that's an incompletion there. Yeah, that SEC conference is crazy. A lot of comp in that division. Georgia's number one. Michigan's number two. I think Ohio State's number three. TCU. Yeah, I'm not even saying their name. Well, I say TCU, they're 17. TCU, T. Martin territory. That's Brock Bowers, the reigning Mackey Award winner, and a flag comes in late. Michigan State's not ranked. From the 20 yard line, third down and seven. Good and throw. right on time is Carson Beck. Yeah, last year, man, Georgia had a lot of weapons. And even the year before that, they had a lot of weapons. Definitely did. They had a lot of weapons, but Georgia just scored just like that, man. And that's one thing about Georgia, too. They can really kill your defense. Their offense is crazy, man. They, they got a lot of weapons. They can really break down your defense. I mean, just for example, man, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again. Just for example, guys, TCU, we lost to TCU, right? Michigan lost to TCU. It was a high-scoring game, but it was a close game, right? But then when TCU went against Georgia, man, they got their ass completely obliterated. And I said this in my Michigan video, and I'm going to sit here and tell you guys this as well, man, that's watching this Georgia video, because I know it's a lot of you Georgia fans that's on my page, man. You guys was better than us, man. You know what I'm saying? And if we would have beat TCU... You guys was definitely projected to be a way better team than us. We know that. You guys was the top dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? And we was the underdogs. If, if Michigan would have beat TCU, we would have been going into that matchup as the underdogs. You guys are the top dogs. You guys are projected to win. You guys are way better than us. I get that, man. But when you're a Michigan fan or just any type of fan and your team makes it all the way and you go in as an underdog, man, you always going to be rocking with your team no matter what. You know what I'm saying? 
through the tough times. I mean, I got a lot of respect for you, Georgia fans, believe it or not, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of respect for y'all boys, man. Because y'all boys, man, y'all y'all never was good. I mean, I'm saying, y'all, like, y'all was never good. Like, over the years, y'all was never good. You know what I'm saying? But y'all stuck with y'all team. Y'all got better over the years. And I can honestly sit here and tell y'all, man, you guys are up there with Alabama, man. Like, it, it's going to be a dogfight in that conference. It's going to be between Georgia and Alabama because Georgia is trying to be the new Alabama. Georgia is trying to be that team that makes it every single year into the national championship game. They want to be the champions or the other division every single year, man. Just like how Alabama was. And LSU would climb up there from time to time as well. But, yeah, Georgia's one of those teams, man, like, they got this shit under control, man. They got this shit under control. They are the team to beat. They are, I give them that. They are the team to beat. Like I said, no hate. Got a lot of respect for them, man. Because the SEC conference isn't easy. All that shit last year, man. I was just pissed because we had got an ass kicked by Georgia the previous year. And, you know, I wanted Michigan to come out there with a vengeance, and I wanted them to get that chip. But Georgia, man, they they, they, they played in a high-ass level for the last two years. That's why they're the back-to-back -back champions, man. But, but Michigan, Michigan, bro, Michigan, and I'm looking at you Georgia fans, I'm looking at any type of I'm looking at all you guys that's looking at me right now. No matter what team y'all rock with in college. Michigan. We have no choice, bro. This national championship has to come home with us. Michigan is the home of the national championship this year. It cannot go anywhere else. That title has to solely be ours, bro. We got to take what we rightfully deserve, man. This is our year. Kobe, you said that last year. Kobe, you said that the previous year. Kobe, you said that all these other... No. This is different. This is now. This is the present. And this is the future. This is not back then. The national championship for Michigan is coming home with us. That is the only thing that we have left that makes us the best that I could sit here and tell y'all and solidify that Michigan will be the best team in this year's college football season. That's the only way we can talk our shit, man. We got to get a national championship. We got to get through this season. We got to be the big 10 champs. And we got to get through the first round. We get through the first round, which is the semifinals in college football. We can... We can we can compete for a national championship. But how are we gonna do that? Take one game at a time. Forty one yard line. You're, you're looking for it's gonna be running back by committee. Looking for Bowers, they got him again. That's gonna be a first down and more. That boy just blew a dose his way for that first down. And then leaves some movement of his own and gets to the thirteen yard line. They're gonna motion someone over to take that double team off of him. Back all kinds of time. Now he's gonna run. Oh nice boy, running. Nice. Touchdown. Yeah, I think that something, I forgot, it was Stetson, or it started with an S, the Bennett dude. That was a quarterback good. last year for Georgia. That man was like pushing 26, 25. How many times did this crowd over the last quarterback was years old as hell. Do things very similar to that. Oh, Stetson yeah, he ain't in the, the field. field. No, I don't even think he could even play another year, even if he wanted to. Because he was too old. That man was damn near pushing uh, 27. They said, man, it's time to move up to the next level or just not to play football at all. Because, man, you're too old to be playing college football. But he was a dog, though. I give him that. He was a dog. 14 zip right now for Georgia. They are up big. Plenty of time in the pocket. Going up the middle. Super close to that first down marker. Now, do they go for it or do they go for the three points? 42 seconds left. They got a big decision to make. Or they got it. It did not look like he got that first down. Good short pass. Another first down. They got a couple of players that take a shot into the end zone. Oh, that's a shot to the end zone. Mm. Call that timeout. Oh, they can't even call that timeout. Taking a shot to the end zone. 
Wow. Ooh, you overthrew that. They got to go for three. Yeah, you overthrew that. This is for them to go up by 17 and a half, and they got it. 23-yard field goal attempt, 17 nothing. UT Martin has not scored a single point yet. The defending champs, man, is trying to make a statement. At the two yard line, it's They're telling all these teams that go against them, y'all can't fuck with us, man. We back to back. I know y'all waiting for me to talk trash about Georgia, man. I, hey, like I said, I got a lot of respect for y'all boys, man. I, I can't say nothing no more, man. Last year was my last year talking about that shit. Play action pass rolling out on the run. Beck is complete. And All I gotta say, man, Michigan just gotta take care of business, bro. This is like the last dance for us, bro. This is the only thing we have left, bro, is, is getting our hands on the national championship. Hopefully, Kobe next year can say, you're defending champions, the Michigan Wolverines, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I can say that next year, man, but we gotta want it. We gotta crave it. We got to not only be good on offense, we got to be that team on defense as well. We can't just be no second-half team. We got to be a first-half team and a second-half team. If we want that goal at the end of the year, man, we got to play Michigan football. We got to play tough. We can't we can't choke, and we cannot. You know what I'm saying? We can't choke when we go against good-ass teams. But it's understandable because, like I said, we don't have that many tough teams in our conference. But still, man, we just got to want it. In the pocket, man. We gotta want it. We gotta, we gotta. Our defense gotta want it. Our offense gotta want it. Michigan as a whole, that we gotta want it. We do that, we good. It's gonna be tough, but we, we gotta, we gotta want it. Twenty-four is it? Feed up the middle. That's thirty-one zero. Just like that. And a lot of these games today, man, with these top teams, they have just been, they just have been literally just obliterating these teams that they've been going against. Michigan obliterated East Carolina. Shit. Georgia is obliterating UT Martin right now. Oregon obliterated the team today. I know there was another blowout as well that I wanted to react to because that shit was crazy. I think it was like 85 to 0 or something. I want to react to that game, which I might because that was crazy. Franklin stiff arm steps out along the sideline. Did he get it? Yes, he did. First down out of the hold of Cody Sparks. 41 yards out. Can they put some points on the board? No, they can't. They can't even put three points on the board. Georgia just might completely shut out this team entirely. Going deep. Wow. Thomas, he's got raw, raw. Wow. Inside the 20 yard line. Biggest play. Everything is going for Georgia, man. Everything is going for Georgia. They are not disappointed. But they're gonna call it a touchdown. He held on long enough. Oscar Delp at the yeah. top of his shoes makes the catch with his back to the end zone and falls in for the touchdown. Oh, they love this. Whether it's faking a screen or, or right there, a pitch to the outside. Yeah, he had enough movement and then stretching it over, completed the catch. See right there, ball's completed. Made a athletic move to stretch the ball over the pylon. Any one of those teams could take him down. Kincaid Dent sprinting out, throwing on the run, has a man. It is complete to one day for the first down. Ton of skill, speed. Trying to pick it up. Defense <clears throat> rallying to the football. Looks like UT Martin picked it up. Watch the tape, see what you did wrong. Get coached. Here's Kincaid Dent sprinting out. He has shown that he can run with efficiency. He's got the talent. These boys are getting whooped right now. 38 to zip. They got to just make sure the game ends, bro. There's no point even showing these outlines, bro. The game over with, man. Come on. Let's get it over with. 38 0 is crazy, though. 38 to 0 is crazy. First and goal. Can they score? No, they cannot. Did he catch it? Did he? That is a catch. Was he in bounds, though? 
He did hold on. That is a touchdown in the corner mm. for Travante Rucker, the junior. Finally put seven points on the board. As a quarterback, you throw it in a bucket in the corner. Yeah, that was a tough ass catch, though. I don't know if he's going to complete that catch. Yeah. Boy, I don't know. I don't know. And the fans are seeing it on the Jumbotron, and they don't think so. Here's another look. Probably our best angle. He was in. He's got the tip. I don't know if he's secured it yet. Oh, oh, oh. Video review, the ruling of a touchdown stands. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Not as big as the other two quarterbacks physically. 6 1 2 15. Here are the feet. Look at him go. First down. He gets close to the 40 yard line. Gunner Stockton out of Tiger, Georgia. Out of a huddle. Gunner Stockton from the shotgun. Shit, they can score a touchdown before the end of this game, though. This is Anthony Evans. But yeah, like I was saying, y'all, Georgia's one of those teams, man. You just got to hold playing them. You all play them, you all beat them. That's, that's really the only way. Quarterback we're seeing for Georgia. Gunner you can't give Georgia no opportunities, Stanford man. The pocket, steps up, throws offense the is dangerous. Right their defense the is dangerous. You just got to kind of lock up their offense. You got to just, you got to score every drive, man. Every drive counts when you're playing against Georgia, man. Believe it or not. Every drive counts. Because if you don't capitalize on your drives, man, Georgia will capitalize and it won't look pretty. But from 33 yards out, makes the game 41 to 7. So Peyton Woodring. That should be nice over with. It should be ball Bulldog. game for sure, for sure, man. Cody they still show on highlights. First time a quarterback, Kincaid Dent is done. And his first pass yeah, is picked off. GG's. 48 to 7. A pick six here in Athens. Mm, mm, mm. Back at it. How about that debut for the true freshman from yeah, Charlotte? Back at it, man. And I hope you guys enjoy, man. Shout out the wheels again, man, for bringing this footage. It's how we're able to react to these games and stuff like that. Make sure y'all boys stay safe out here, man. Georgia wins 48-7, to man. Just complete abomination. You know what I'm saying? They just... Hey, nothing new, man. They got the job done. But I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Got more videos on the way, so stay tuned for that. It's your boy, Kobe. I'm going to see y'all boys. I'm going to see y'all boys. Peace. Peace.